All right, so in this video, I want to create all of the obstacles because this is going to be tedious and I do not want to uh, make more than one episode of torture. So let's create the spikes first. The spikes uh, class is going to be a component and it's going to have the attribute color. So it's going to have a color attribute and this color attribute will be specified in the parameters of the constructor where we will initialize it. Then we are going to have an on collision method. So when we collide with the spikes, let's say the player collides with the spikes, we're going to check if the origin of the collision has the player controller class, meaning if it's if the collider is a player, then we're just going to kill the player because they're spikes and spikes go owie so yeah uh, and then the render method we are going to have we're gonna have to draw the spikes now we're gonna have to draw triangles so let's first get the transform uh, object into a local variable so that's easier for us and let's create a for loop because in case we want multiple spikes right by 16 and i plus plus so let's say each spike is 16 wide right if we say the spikes are uh 32 wide then that's just going to spawn two spikes instead of one that's what this for loop is going to do now we gotta create the polygon which sucks because it means math and i hate math so we'll do the first point, uh, get screen position dot x plus camera dot x offsets plus 16 divided by 2 plus 16 times i. No, the parentheses are wrong. What did I do? Shoot. Uh, this should be that, and that should be deleted there. And then let's do t dot get screen position dot x plus camera dot x offset. This time we're gonna have three parentheses plus sixteen times i. Perfect. And we're gonna have another point x position. Start off with the x position plus the camera dot x offset plus 16 plus not 17 plus 16 plus 16 times i. Oh no, I did something wrong. What did I do? What did I do? Forgot to put parentheses right there. Delete that. All right. Um, and just close off that array, and then we're going to have a Y point where we will have the, this is a lot more basic, so we'll have the screen position at Y plus camera dot Y offset, and then the next point will be T dot get screen position dot Y plus the T scale dot Y. Plus camera. If you're confused as to what we're doing, you don't need to know. All, all you need to know is that we're basically drawing the triangle right now, um, which you know sucks, but you got to do it. And then we're going to have uh, the final one, which that should be in parentheses, is going to be plus t dot scale dot y plus camera dot y offset and that should be good why do we have an error delete that there those are the y coordinates and then we'll do g dot set color to the color we specified in the parameters and then we're going to draw the, the draw triangle as if it were a polygon there we go now should draw each triangle. Oh, we have an error. Hmm. 
So I think we got, yeah, put a parentheses right there. Okay, so those are the spikes. Um, and I believe it, we can actually see this work. Um, yeah, we should be able to see this. So let's do, go into create level and we'll do add game object to scene prefabs.generate and we'll generate a new spikes object. We're gonna delete this after, but just to make sure it works. We'll do new vector 2f, window dot, or uh, let's, let's just put it like at 100, 100, because why not? And a new vector 2f of I don't know, 16 by 16, and a new box bounds, and a new uh, Spikes object, um, and we'll do color dot orange, or I don't know. Let's let's put red, and a new. Um, what's the other one? Do I need anything else? I think that's that's it. Run this. There's the spike. If we hit it, the player dies can see that's a spike can jump on it it dies yeah all right it works and you know what let's do a 32 remember I said if I double if I double the width from 16 to 32 and it'll instead of widening the spike it'll create two there we go so there's two spikes they both kill me uh, so yeah th those are the spikes yay I've made spikes all right uh, let's now create the let's create a moving floor that's gonna be so much fun so let's make a moving floor obstacle or I should say platform it's gonna extend a component we're gonna have a private into target X that's just gonna be where the floor is moving to and then the velocity uh, and then we're gonna have a start method. So when the object is started, we'll set the velocity, the x velocity to a new random um, velocity. So not all of the platforms are moving at the same speed. And then the target x will be the positions x plus 256 so that it's always moving 256 spaces or I don't know pixels all right then we're gonna have an update method and here we're gonna we're gonna move the platform so we're gonna check if the positions X plus the game objects uh, uh, width all right so we're getting the right side of the the platform is greater than target x and velocity x is greater than zero. And then we're going to do velx is equal to negative velx, which basically just reverses the speed from two to negative two, five to negative five, stuff like that. And we're gonna set the target x equal to negative um, 256. Then we're gonna do the same, but the other way around, so that it's gonna do this when the platform's moving left. Vel x is equal to negative vel x, and target x plus equals to 256. And then we're gonna get the rigid body and move its x-axis by vel x. Then we're gonna create a render method. And in this render method, we're gonna uh, localize the transform object just to make it easier on ourselves. And we'll set the color to green because we wanna draw this. And we'll do draw rectangle integer and we'll do t.get screen position dot x plus camera dot x offset
and then do the y and the width and then the height there we go that's the height and I just remembered the spikes their color should be orange no nah, whatever um, okay so that's the render method for the moving floor and on collision we're actually gonna make the floor sticky so we're gonna say If it collides with a player and the type is bottom, and we're going to do collision.origin.getComponent, uh, rigidbody.class, and we're going to move the x, at x of the player by velocity x of the platform. So make sure that the player actually sticks to the platform when the platform's moving. Okay. Um, now we can test this right here. We'll just do add game object to scene, create and generate the prefab moving floor, and set its uh, position to I don't know uh, uh, 72 by um, 300. No, let's do 200. Set the size to I don't know, 16. Oops. To 16 by 30, yeah, 32, I guess. And a new box bounds and a new rectangle render, or sorry, a new moving floor should spawn that in. Oh, we got an error. Uh, whoopsie daisy. Null pointer exception where get uh, game object. Oh. Um all oh right, we need it we need a rigid body. What am I doing? Stew New rigid body friction of one. Although that doesn't really matter. There we go. We have a moving platform. Cool. And I am realizing that I <laughs> flipped this. This should be 16 for the Y, and this should be, I don't know, like 64 or something. All right, there. And now the player can be on this platform. Cool. All right. <sighs> so now let's create the, um, what's next? Killer floor. Yes, let's make a killer floor. A floor that kills you. Killer floor uh, component. And this is going to, again, extend components. We're going to have a kill interval boolean. So what what all this these are all variables that are going to control when the floor is killing you. So it's going to like it's going to like uh, it's going to be like a trap door, you know, it's going to open and then sometimes it's going to close. It's on a timer it's going to open and then close. But instead of opening and closing, it's just going to kill the player if the player's touching it. So you'll be able to stand on the floor, but then if it suddenly turns into a killer floor, then it's going to kill you. All right, so we'll do a public killer floor boolean kill interval and we're going to do this dot kill interval is equal to the kill interval and the parameters gonna take a random boolean and we're gonna do uh, system dot current time milliseconds or randomly we'll say else 
next interval is equal to system dot that current time milliseconds plus a new random uh, integer with the bounds of 2500 large number let's create our update class or sorry update method I'm just gonna swap the the killing I'm gonna say if the kill interval and the system dot current time in milliseconds is greater than the next interval we're gonna say is killing is killing is equal to is killing and next interval equals to system dot current time in milliseconds plus 2500 what okay and what was the error uh, whatever um, so and then we need our render method and in here we're gonna localize oops, gonna localize the transform object and then we're going to check if it is killing currently otherwise we will do something else but if it is killing, we're going to set the color to orange. And then we're going to draw the rectangle onto the screen. So just type in the x coordinates. Then the y coordinates. Then the width and the height. All right. Otherwise, we're going to draw a different color and we're going to fill the rectangle. And I believe we can just copy this right here. There we go. Copy those parameters. Paste in there. That's all good. And that's rendering. Now let's do the collision. And we'll say if the collision's origin is a player, so if it's a player colliding with the floor and we are currently in killing mode, then we're going to kill the player. There we go. All right, let's test it out. Let's go into the game scene. Let's add a prefab that we generate called killer floor. Set its position to I don't know, 100 by 100, and a size of 64 by 16, with box bounds and a new rectangle render. Or no, and um, the kill uh, killer floor component. Let's just pass in oh, a kill interval. So yes, we will be killing. You can see there it is. You can stand on it, but then the moment it turns orange, then it kills you. So you can play around with this if you want. You can see we can move, but then the moment it turns orange, it will start to kill you. Right? You can see. Oh, dead. All right, so just delete this. And I think that's that's it. We're done with that crap. All right. So in the next video we will doing we will be making the level generator.